is brilliant My life is brilliant My love is pure I saw an angel Of Adam Shaw She smiled me in the subway She was with another man I won't lose no sleep on that Cause I've got a plan You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful It's true Suzanne, congratulations on this great day. Welcome to the club, and we uh, we look forward to having repeat weddings and repeat weddings because we know you've had so much fun organising this one. Uh, congratulations, Tim and Suzanne. Uh, it's going to be a great day today. Looking forward to it. Uh, Tim's never been happier, and I've never been happier to have a, a sister-in-law like Suzanne. So congratulations, Tim and Sue. Uh, big congratulations to both of you. I was so proud to be there on the night you both met. I'm equally as proud to be there today, standing beside Tim, uh, trying to make your day the best it can be. Enjoy t today, enjoy tomorrow, and enjoy the rest of your life together. Cheers. You know, Tim and Suze, I've always been a big fan of the, uh, of the notion of determining fate by your own actions. That was up until around 2004, when Timbo ran into you by chance uh, in, a, in a sleazy little back alley. Uh, in the south end of, uh, of London on a rainy evening. And uh, the, the mere idea of being uh, very good friends with you again after a seven year break uh, is fantastically exciting and, uh, and I genuinely don't believe that, uh, that any actions of my own could have brought me closer to you right now. When it comes to you and Suze, you're one of the few couples, and I genuinely believe this, who uh, are a combination where one plus one equals, uh, equals three. You do. Uh, the two of you uh, truly complement each other to what is a, a better whole and, uh, and I commend you both and I wish you uh, the very best in what will be a fantastic life together. Uh, Susie sweetheart, I'm going to be on a beach bridge shortly to see you walk down, I can't wait. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Love you very much and uh, it's going to be nice to be able to say that uh, you're going to be my wife. So Susie, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a couple of hours and probably by the time you see this, we'll be married. Okay, love you very much, see you. Another turning point for stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why 
It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable But in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life <laughs> So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end that's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Well, Sue, this is a day that I've always looked forward to, and kind of now it's bittersweet. Congratulations on getting married. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful life. You and Tim make a wonderful couple. Uh, all the best and congratulations. Hi Sue, it's Mum. Um, I'd just like to say that I love you and that uh, I'm very happy. The girls look beautiful, you look beautiful. Um, and we've all got on well today, which is a real bonus. Um, to have a great day and um, go home with your husband because he loves you. Hi Sue and Tim. I'm happy to uh, be here on your special day. and. Um, it's something I know sincerely and you both truly love each other. You've made that very clear and um, I just hope you have a great day and love you both and look forward to having a lot of fun. You're going to have a great time for the rest of your lives and I hope I can share it with you and thanks for um, being come today and, uh, and celebrate it with you. Thanks.
hope you can all hear me in this sea breeze. What a beautiful day. I'm Anna's Tate and I'm a sort of celebrant. In conjunction with Esther Russell, who is a marriage celebrant, we have been given the greatest of honours in conducting this ceremony day for this very special couple. Real love, real love between a man and a woman is perhaps the highest experience that is possible to humankind. Such love reduces selfishness, deepens personalities, but above all gives life new purpose and meaning, as I'm sure you do agree. Suzanne loves Tim for his contagious passion for life, the fact that he never says no to trying anything new. Of course, it does help that he finds him so attractive, his <laughs> eyes and smile. <laughs> Tim loves Suzanne for her passion for life, how she's exciting and funny, dedicated and kind, supporting and uplifting. Her positivity is surpassed only by her ability your life is wonderful in every way. They believe in each other. They believe that together they can tackle anything. Tim's most romantic moment with Suzanne was in Poland. There was a full moon. They danced in Krakow City Square and time stood still. Suzanne's most romantic moment with Tim was when he proposed high in the air between Italy and Russia. Their future dream is a simple one. They don't want the adventure to ever, ever end. They want to continue to explore the world and spend time with their friends and especially their family. One of the beautiful traits that ties Suzanne and Tim together is a strong bond they share with those they love, which unfortunately for some stretches across all corners of the globe. No matter what part of the world they currently call home, that a weekend passes without someone commenting, I wish Tim and Sue were here. I've never met a couple that spend so much time together smiling. You won't find two people that truly experience life the way they do. It's not difficult to imagine them both in 50 years, slightly <laughs> white and grey. <laughs> <laughs> With more stories to share than most of us here. Suzanne and Tim, it comes without saying that everyone in attendance is grateful for the love you share with us. I can confidently ask all here today, this weekend aside in 50 years time. I'm sure we'll be traveling oceans to celebrate a golden wedding anniversary. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I now introduce Mr. Russell, who is the official marriage servant. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hi, Mr. Russell, a civil marriage celebrant, and you are authorized to solemnize this, your marriage, according to the laws of Australia. Before you were joined together, in marriage in my presence and in the presence of your family and friends. I am bound to remind you publicly of the solemn, the serious and the binding nature of the relationship in which we are now about to enter. Here, here. Marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment of a man to a woman and a woman to a man. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others and it is entered into the desire, the hope and the firm intention that it would last for life. <laughs> I'd like to ask who amongst you family and friends brings this woman to this man? I do. I do. Mm -hmm. you have your Tim, do you take Suzanne to be your lawfully wedded wife? to love and to hold from this day forth. Will you love and comfort her, honour and keep her, and forsaking all others, keep only unto her, as long as you both shall live? I will. Suzanne, do you take Tim to be your lovely wedded husband, to love and to hold from this day forth? Will you love and comfort him, honour and keep him, and forsaking all others, keep only unto him, as long as you both shall live? I will. Suzanne, I want to be with you always, just as you are, because I love your way. I choose you above all others to be my wife and share my life with me. And I promise I will strive it will be always one of full of happiness and fun. I love you for yourself. And I want you to become all you can be. 
So I, Timothy Andrew, call upon our family and friends here present to witness that I take you, Suzanne Marie, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to honor this pledge for as long as I live. Tim, I want to be with you always, just as you are, because I love your way. I choose you above all others to be my husband and share my life with, which is why I will always strive to be one for fun and happiness. I love you for yourself and I want it so. <laughs> and I want you to become all you can be. And so I, Suzanne Marie, call upon our family and friends here present to witness that I take you, Timothy Andrew, to be my lawfully wedded husband and I promise to <laughs> <laughs> Almost there, we're almost there. <laughs> almost there. <laughs> oh no, this bitch. That's not what I think it's going to be. Sorry. You're beautiful. <laughs> Suzanne, with this ring I thee wed, I give you this ring as my personal gift and promise of love, trust and pride. You are my wife. Make sure I got it the right way because you got your other one. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, with this ring I thee wed, I give you this ring as a personal gift and promise of love, trust and pride that you are my husband. <laughs> Thank you. How would we do? We did well. <laughs> we did really bad. We did okay. Okay.
Okay, have you nice and comfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give you the father of the bride, Les Novak. I'll try. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends. Um, I guess I'm the first cab off the ranks, so the speeches will progressively get better or worse as the night goes on. <laughs> I guess this is a bittersweet time. It's one of those times that if you've got a daughter, you uh, remember when you brought her home in a tidy little crib. So the little child comes home, she grows up into a little girl, and it's that little, it's that little girl that you uh, end up taking to basketball on a Tuesday, netball practice on a Wednesday, calisthenics on a Thursday, skate line on a Friday. And it's that same little girl who, in a very short space of time, develops a twin. Her name's Sam, who happens to live across the road. So we now have twins. And then a, a little while later, a little girl walks down the side street and she becomes a triplet. Along comes Michelle Ames. <laughs> and then a, another uh, individual comes along, Kylie and Christine. So we've got this awesome foursome or awesome fivesome. They're the absolute terror of Tea Tree Gully in South Australia. <laughs> and here we are, nearly 30 years later, and she's blossomed into a beautiful, gorgeous daughter. <laughs> I've, I've seen my daughter grow up. I've effectively lost her as a daughter. No, well, not really. It's an old cliche, but I've gained a son. And uh, when I look at Sue and Tim together, I couldn't be more pleased. They're a beautiful looking couple. They're obviously very, very much in love and I wish them all the best for the rest of their life. To Sue and Tim. I would like to uh, say a couple of words. Um, firstly, I'd like to say it's probably the best day of my life. Uh, It was equal. <laughs> okay, I, I had a conversation with Tim and Sue a few days ago and it went a little bit like, um, 
you know, how are you, that sort of thing. And then I realised during the conversation I had a chat with Sue and she told me uh, very emphatically that she was in love. It's the first time I ever heard it come out of her mouth. I then had another conversation with Tim. <laughs> and just to check, as you do, <laughs> I was given the same emphatic <laughs> reply. So I know it's two very, very happy people in the room. They're emphatically in love. They told me so. I wish you a great future together. And I will be at your 50th wedding anniversary. I love you, Suzanne. I love Tim. And I'm very, very happy to hand Suzanne over to you, Tim. Right? <laughs> and good luck, right? You are the best couple. I actually spoke to someone here tonight and the taxi driver said he has never seen a bride like my daughter. I can't ask for any more than that. So with that, I would like to thank you all for coming. And I really want to thank Les because, um, you know, we've been separated for a long time. And sometimes you've just got to get together for the right reasons. Thank you, Les. And I'll pass you over to the best man. Uh, I didn't put this on for any reason. We had a great box night. I was sick. <coughs> Despite the hilarity, I was the only one up early enough to go for a swim, and I shouldn't have done that. Because <laughs> I was still half pissed, I think. <laughs> These two people, um, we've got a lot of stories, I get emotional. <laughs> um, lovely people. Suzanne, welcome to the McDonald clan. I'm very proud of my three boys and all the daughters-in-laws I have now and I've got a now a granddaughter which is fantastic and three beautiful grandsons <laughs> but sincerely on behalf of um, outside of the family welcome to everyone today we're just so thrilled you could all join with us Jeannie Liz, and Graham to make this such a fabulous day for two fabulous people they've got the whole future in front of them they're going to kill it I know. And to all the friends here who have made it possible, to the Barmy Army who are in a pain in the ass, but, <coughs> but go home with five zip and we're happy about that. Um, Stan, welcome. I'm going to cry. <laughs> welcome. We love you. And to my sons, Chris. Tim and Tony here. I'm just so proud of all of you. And the McDonald family reigns. <laughs> Welcome. For those who I have not yet had a chance to meet, my name is Matthew Wilson, and I've been bestowed the honour of standing beside Tim and Sue on this wonderful occasion. Tim, thank you. It's an honour it's an honor I won't forget. <laughs> this brings me to an order of affairs which I'm most happy to discharge. And that is to congratulate Sam and the bridesmaids on making today so special for Suzanne and Tim. Yeah. You are all resplendent and beautiful and bring a level of class and sophistication that is sadly lacking in the groom's party. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the privilege of knowing Tim since 1993. We met at a nightclub in Hawthorne where Tim was working, and it was clearly evident that he, had, that he had a charisma and charm that endeared itself to the drinking, fraternising, and partying uni student that I was at the time, i.e. he served me scotch and introduced me to the fairer sex. <laughs> we are now in 2007, some 13, 14 years later, and I can say that there are some characteristics which Tim has that makes us want to spend time with him, and I feel it is my duty to touch on a few of these as a testimony for Sue. Tim is a loyal friend. He is kind, generous, and couples this with a sense of fun and adventure. He has searched for love through the time that I have known him, and I am glad to see that he has finally found it, for which I am honoured that I have played some small part. <laughs> You'll move mountains. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. 
So get on your way. To Tim and Sue. In each other you found your heart's desire. You found your best friend. I hope your looks of love will never end. Let's drift to love which is nothing unless it's divided by two. I have never been so emotionally moved as I have with this ceremony. So many facets which we won't go into, but at, on the pier today, to hear Tim say his vows in the last two lines, hear the tears in his voice. To hear Suzanne cry and laugh hysterically at the same time. And I know it wasn't because what am I getting myself into? It was the excitement of the adventure to come. And it was just so amazing. So I would just like to say what a privilege, what a pleasure, what a couple. Thank you. And now I give you the groom, Tim McDonald. I could actually quite like to say that my beautiful wife <laughs> and I would like to say a few words. Um, and as Susie and I look around the room today, uh, we understand that this day, unfortunately, will never come again. <laughs> now, we have so many special friends who are here with us to, tonight. And... Um, They've come, for, they've come from such a long way to be here. We have 18 people who have come over from the UK to be with us today. And, um, and we'd actually like to mention them personally too. So we have, and I want everyone to raise their hands for Troy if they can. So, so many of you travel so from the other side of the world to be here tonight. And Susie and I really, really appreciate that. You can't believe it. <laughs> My husband and I <laughs> have spent the last 12 months organising tonight and they say that a day goes quickly when you get married but I just want everything to stand still in time right now because I'll never again have everyone in the room like this and I just appreciate so much we both do everyone being here today. Um, thank you to the Mango Princesses. Yeah! Now, how cool are you lot, i got to say. What, what fantastic friends you are to my beautiful wife. And um, you guys, I'm taking over after 33 years. <laughs> what are you going to do? But not a lot about that. <laughs> I've never had a group of friends bring me into their um, houses. You guys have done. <laughs> And you didn't have to either. You didn't have to. You could have said, nah, don't like him. He's out of there. But you guys have been so fantastic with me and I really appreciate it. And Graham, on behalf of my beautiful bride and I, I want to thank you very much for all your hard work. It's been absolutely amazing. And for taking me in. It's nice. Very nice. Now, Jeannie. My beautiful mother-in-law, who I love dearly. I want to thank you for all the hard work and everything you've done over the last oh, eight months. It's been fantastic. You're such a fantastic person. And I've got a small something for you. And Les, it's been such a pleasure to meet you and you've been so good to me um, from helping me build our deck. <laughs> <laughs> what is with it? Just building a deck? <laughs> Without Les, we have been able to do a few things in our house that we wanted to do and, um, and he's been so good in bringing me in and, uh, and he's been very accepting of me taking his daughter. And uh, so I just want to say cheers to you. Sir. and Ian, thank you so much for being so welcoming into the family. The first day I met you I had a kite board in the back of the car and I could, you couldn't see my face but I'm like, hi I'm Sue, Tim's girlfriend. But from that day I think we've um, you know, formed a beautiful friendship and I count you as my friends, not only as my new parent-in-law and I just thank you for being so wonderful. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, 
That concludes the speeches. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. McDonald, you can come up to the centre of the stage. <laughs>
Tim McDonald, can you uh, tell me what emotions you're going through right now, mate? All right, well, the emotions I'm going through right now is actual complete elation. The fact that Suzanne and I have come through this period of our life and we have loved every minute of it, and now that we've done it, I'm just ecstatic. I've got the most beautiful wife in the world, and um, I'm the proudest guy on the planet. I can't ask for more. I think the night's been fantastic. It's a testimony to both Tim and Sue. The effort they both put in and honouring us all being here a part of their night. So yeah, I think it's going fantastically well, mate. Okay, where do I start? Well, it's been very stressful, but in the end, nothing mattered except Tim and saying our vows up there on the jetty. Mind you, I was a little bit embarrassed because I did laugh and and then cry and then laugh and then cry. But yes, and, uh, I'm very happy and, can, and I'm having the best night. And can you tell me how much today means to you having all your family and friends and, uh, and that bloke you just married around? I can't explain it. Like, this will never ever happen again and I just think, I just want to stand still in time and like put Paul's button on tonight and walk around and be able to give everyone a big hug. I'm just so happy. Cool. Can you give me a big hug right now? Yeah. Uh, Suzanne is uh, one of the prettiest, um, most intelligent, most travelled, but not the most slept in countries. I know you have that title. Uh, but look, a pretty girl, proud to have her as a daughter-in-law, and also uh, to get rid of my third son. It's just brilliant. We're having an absolutely amazing evening, and um, it makes me remember how much I remember the first time I met Sue, at your housewarming, and the first time I ever saw Sue was when she said, here, have a sea breeze, and she served it to me in a watering can with two straws. Oh, there's so many things. Eddie, Timu, congratulations. Tim, you know, when you meet your best friend's new boyfriend, you kind of think, am I gonna like him? But our first day doing aerobic dance steps on the dance floor, I knew you were good. Um, all the best for the future and we've had a great night. What else can I say? I've had the best time. I've enjoyed the company, the food, the grog, the young men. <laughs> Team and Sue, I'm very honoured to be at your wedding. I wish you many happy years of marriage. And I'm sure I'll, I'll see you again throughout the many countries of the world. <laughs> oh, look, it's been absolutely fantastic. I've been uh, been thrilled to meet all of Tim's friends from England who I've been hearing oh, about. Hey. Well, absolutely. I mean, you've been one of the highlights of the trip, mate. It's been great to see you. I tell you, it's amazing how people are lying on television. That's right. That's right, yeah. Susie asked me, and I was uh, quite um, privileged to actually do tonight. So uh, if I can help and contribute to the night, so be it. Here I am. Enjoying it with everybody else. It's been a great night. It's the most amazing country and I wouldn't miss Sue and Tim's wedding for the world. And uh, how good a day have you had? I've had the most amazing day. It's just made me realise that people do meet each other and fall in love. I'm very proud and I'm so sorry I haven't got a voice. I think there's a lot of people who are not that sorry about that, but never mind. <laughs> but I had a lovely time. Cool. And, uh, and I'm glad I came. Well, uh, I would hope uh, so. I'm very glad I came. I wasn't so, going to one stage, but because I thought maybe it was all too hard. No, it's never going to be too hard. I was going to buy a sports car instead. But she didn't want it. No. But she's got a lovely man. Love you both very much. Thank you, Jean. What? Remember me in Queensland. Apart from interesting, it's been wonderful to have Timothy married to such a beautiful girl as Suzanne. I couldn't be happier. Uh, very proud. Uh, Suzanne's a great girl. They're just so wonderful together. Um, I've never seen Tim this happy, settled, relaxed in his own life. So uh, it's been great. Um, they're great for each other and I wish them all the best. The only couple I know that I love that much, except my wife and myself, of course. And um, I'm very proud of Suzanne. She, um, I've treated her like a daughter from day one. And that's why I couldn't make the speech I wanted. I was too emotional. But um, they're going to be fantastic together. And yeah, I'll be there with their 50th anniversary because they're the happiest couple I've ever seen. Good luck, guys. I love you guys. And I wish you all the best in 
your future together. You too. And I'm so happy that I was part of your day. And I love you both. And I just like to say, I love you both. Love you both. Sorry. Way up high. 